today I will do a demonstration to run the RISC 5 on top of KMU first we need to clone the KMU from Git of course I think we don't need to start from Git but we can just start from the official website let's download the KMU and then we will extract it now and extract KMU 6 one tar ok we have the KMU directory now let's configure this KMU by using this tutorial in this video I want to run the 64-bit RIS file so what I need is this command this will build a um, KMU for RIS-5 64 system since configuration finish and then continue with the compile process now after the build is finished you can check by go to the build directory and run the KMU system RIS-5 this, this means we have the RIS-5 KMU working now what we need to do is get the images from this link below and what you need is the kernel and the root file system the bootloader so this is the bootloader that you need to download because this is the latest federal minimal row height firmware payload u boot and the other one is the root file system this one sda.raw.exe and the image download is finished we have the root file system but we need to extract it first we have this bootloader uboot and the root file system now we have to annex that the the exit format after extracting we now we have this raw file next step is just run the command so we have this command we will move the current KMU in build because we have it in build directory let's copy this line in kernel and for the SDA I think it's the same isn't it yes it is the same now need to save just paste and run I have it so as you can see open SBI is the bootloader for this and as we can see this CPU here is is 564 IMA FDCSU and we have our memory here 2 gigabytes and what else we can see here the kernel is working well uh, it's Linux 5.5 and booting is in progress everything works well let's wait for the boot to finish okay now we have the login page here it says that the root password is fedorox user is 5 password is fedorox also let's try using this risk 5 user this I think this is not updated so let's just try the this one risk 5 and then the password is fedora rocks
okay we can log in and let's see the system information here we have Linux Fedora RISC 5 this one is 5.5 and other information we can see on top this is the process or we can also install another software package if you want maybe NeoFetch is already so it seems the install is not working I don't know why but maybe there's still some issues with the distro or something I don't know but this Fedora is running fine I mean if you use it for usual just try to run your user program in this environment and you can also debug it I've tried the, the GCC and GDB debugging remote debugging and compiling Fedora team already developed it well to be used for basic usage and yeah you can start development with this environment and put your executable here and run it debug it from other system so that's it from this tutorial see you in the another tutorial